Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. So what we're going to do in this video is cover February favourites. Now February favourites is something that I want to introduce, it's not going to be called February favourites all the time, it's a favourite section where I'll share all of the things I've picked up over the last month. Whether they're like apps or like resources or techniques or tools that I've found helpful in my daily routine. Now I tried doing something like this a while ago but I feel like this is a better point to start this uh, segment because you guys can start using them in your routine. I'm going to be trying to include more resources that I don't mention in regular videos so you guys get a better insight into some of the things I'm trying to find and some things that I'm getting sent across my month. So let's get started. In traditional fashion, let's start with some apps that I found very handy. Now, one of the apps that I've been using in the last few weeks is called Mindfulness. As you might not know, I've been doing a few months of meditation now, probably three to four months. And I found that using something to have a nice, like melodic music in the background or like Tibetan tones, helps to improve the quality of the meditation. Now, previously I'd used like YouTube and things like that just to get those sounds, but now this app has been pretty handy. So all I do is I click on time sessions and I'm there. I can start choosing the time I want, whether I want a guided meditation or not. It's been pretty handy. Now, moving over to books, I've actually been reading a few at the moment that have been of great interest to me. So one of them I have been sort of steadily reading and is more of a textbook style book. That book is Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. Now, it's more of those books where they cover some of the routines and tactics and habits of those billionaires and etc. and those really rich people, the ones who have really conquered their area. So I'm really enjoying this at the moment. Uh, as I said, it's more of a textbook read, so I can sort of dip in and find a few areas that I enjoy. Another read that I found quite beneficial is called Wake Up. Now, this is something that I didn't think I would enjoy, but I'm slowly getting through it so far. Um, it's written by a guy called Chris Perez Brown, but it basically covers activities that you can do in your day that basically stimulate good habit and positive routine. As you guys know, I'm a real Blinkist fan. So I've been using Blinkist for the last couple of months to really teach myself more about different things. So things about startups and things about uh, meditation, things about life and, and other areas as well. So that's been really handy. I can dip into a read. Obviously it takes me 100% less time. Uh, but uh, it's more versatile as well because I don't have to carry those books around across my day. So some articles that I found very useful. So I've actually found two really great sleeping articles that uh, have been very beneficial. So I've looked at the Ariana Huffington post about the age of Trump, which talks about how um, his sleeping routines aren't necessarily the best ones to follow. I've also found another read which I found really helpful on, I think it was on Fast Company. Uh, again, I'll include all the links in the description, but it was about how some guy tested getting up at 5 a.m. versus getting up at 5.45 a.m. every day. He basically had a really good argument at how he shouldn't be waking up at 5 a.m., he should be waking up at 5.45. Um, but I really liked his thought process and I'm sure it can be very helpful for your morning routines. Some of the experiments I have going on at the moment have been quite interesting. I've been looking at Bear and Evernote. So obviously you guys know that I've like been battling recently with using both of them um, just because Bear is such a really distraction free and really nice experience and I have been using Bear a lot more so I've been transferring a few notes over to Bear and seeing what the experience is like versus Evernote. Obviously there's a lot less bloat but there's a lot less features on Bear so I'm going to be keeping you updated with that sort of theory and whether it's going to be a full transfer over or whether it's going to be like partial transfer or I'm going to use them in two different contexts. Another experiment that I'm doing at the moment is about Zapier so I'm checking out where I can like plug in Zapier into my everyday routine so like I at the moment I have a, a Zapier uh, connection where basically every time I start something in Slack it becomes a to-do this task but I'm going to be experimenting more with that and actually sharing a few in a couple of videos with you guys because I think it's really handy uh, to share those things where you can you can help improve your daily productivity with bots uh, because it does save you a lot of time. So I have a few recommendations for YouTube channels as well for you guys to go and follow. So one of the first ones is CLE Tech. I really enjoyed Dan's videos recently. They're really vibrant. They cover tech and hardware really, really well. Zoe A is another YouTuber who talks a lot about meditation and minimalism. Now, minimalism is something that I've adopted partly and something that I continue to try and learn more about. It's basically the idea of having like as little as you can, 
Zoe explains it much better than I do and you should definitely check out her channel because it's got a lot more than just that on it and she's got a fantastic community as well. Another minimalist channel that I found very handy is Anthony's over at Break the Twitch. I really like his channel because it covers the importance and the benefits of actually using something like minimalism in your daily routine. So it's definitely worth checking his stuff out. As I said, I'll include all of these guys in the description. Anyway guys, now I have a few questions for you guys. Um, so the following questions will be available to answer in the comments. My first question to you guys would be, what to-doist issues are you having at the moment? I'd love to hear if there are any specific things that you're struggling with, with your to-doist accounts, and also whether you're struggling with your task managers in general. My second question would be, are you using any applications at the moment for de-stressing and decluttering? I'd love to hear whether you're using them throughout the workday or whether you use them in your daily routines to help keep yourself relaxed. So just let me know in the comments whether you have any opinions or thoughts on that. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this February favourites. I'm looking forward to sharing a few more like this. So let me know in the comments whether you like this. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you and seeing whether any of these apps helped or any of these recommendations were useful. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.